Yo, what's up? I'm Tom. And I'm Tim. We're fast food connoisseurs. We eat shit and then tell you about it. So we're here in our local Taco Bell. We're in Framingham, Mass. Yeah, represent. And we're gonna we're gonna talk about Taco Bell's new double steak burrito and quesadilla. The four dollar abomination that actually is Taco Bell crappy food priced like normal food. So is it amazing? Is it awesome? Is, is it worth it? four hours of diarrhea? Yeah. Probably not. We're gonna find out anyway on the first episode. Fast food connoisseurs, let's go. Go. Double stick time. Okay, so you're looking at the double steak burrito that I just bought, and without having bitten into it yet, it looks like it's pretty well assembled. I don't see anything oozing out or anything like that. Uh, I'm hoping as I eat it, it stays together pretty well, and I don't have to keep using napkins and whatnot. It looks like it's going to be pretty meaty inside, and uh, actually at 18 grams of fat and 470 calories, that's not even really that bad. Uh, it's got a good girth for what it is, and uh, well, that's what she said. <laughs> but seriously, it looks like it's pretty well put together, and I'm definitely excited to try this. So take a look at the double steak quesadilla. Oh my god, it looks so good. It smells mega hella awesome, too. I know you at home can't smell it, but oh man, it's awesome. This thing is a friggin' beast, it's ginormous. It's like stuffed to the brim with steak and goodness. And it's also friggin' 660 calories, so I'm probably gonna be feeling this one later, but who cares, let's eat. So obviously, these menu items are glorious and amazing in their ultra powers, but the important, the important thing is, how do they taste? We shall find out right now. It's juicy. It's like a hint of every flavor that Taco Bell has to offer, I think. Yeah, the steak is actually pretty good. It's not like crappy steak you expect. It's like almost real steak. Feels like it's close to like Cadoba or Chipotle as Taco Bell's gonna get. It's good. I like this. The blend of cheeses and spices they're using really helps accentuate the steak. Slight fatigue. Feels like it might have a little too much rice. Kind of a lot. But it's still good. Definitely still good. And for me, the balance is right on. Maybe a little much on the cheese. The steak definitely has a new flavor that I've never had before. Definitely something different from Taco Bell. Yeah, if someone had given this to me, Sans wrapper, I mean like, try this, I would not have thought it was Taco Bell. It's steak sauce. I give that a thumbs up for sure. My only critique on this is I kind of wish that they might have included some of the rice that's in the burrito. Because while it tastes really good, it is just a tortilla with steak and cheese in it. Could give you some of this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? a little too much. So we're gonna finish up. We'll be back in a second to uh, deliver our final verdict on the double steak. Alright, so, been about 10 15 minutes, finished our double steak items. You know, fast food's always good when you eat it, but after a while it sits for a bit, it could get kind of bad. So, we're gonna talk about that too. So, Tim. Double steak burrito. How's it sitting right now? Um, I can feel it. <laughs> definitely. I I took the liberty of eating the uh, the very end, which had all this like, cream, and that was probably that was probably the killer. If I didn't eat that, then I, I'd probably be fine right now. But it was like just pure, like cheesy, melty destruction. <laughs> Dink some points on there for the construction. I hate it when they put all the like filling in like the beginning or the end and I'm 
yeah, distribute it here even. But it was yeah. still delicious. I can't can't say that it wasn't. So for the quesadilla, um, again, I definitely think it could have used some of that rice because there was a load of cheese in that, and uh, you can feel it after a few minutes. It just kind of sits like a block of lead in your gut. I would definitely still recommend it, but just be prepared that like, unless you've like fasted all day in preparation, you're probably gonna be feeling it for a bit. Now we're gonna rate the uh, the meal we've just had, and instead of doing like a normal like five or ten scale rating, we're gonna rate based on the price of the item. So like, how much do we think it's worth compared to how much it actually costs? So the double steak and uh, burrito and quesadilla are both three ninety nine. So if you had your way, how much would you pay out of three ninety nine for the double steak? It wasn't quite worth three ninety nine, I wouldn't say. It was actually a little over plus the tax, and I would, I, it was very good, but I would say two fifty three bucks most. It's yeah. still, it's still Taco Bell is a problem. Like you know, we're eating Taco Bell. It's better quality, but it's still, it's still Taco Bell. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's definitely one of the better things I've put out on the menu as of late. But I mean, like when you eat Taco Bell for as long as we have, like you can't like ignore the cheese del beef burrito, which is like the greatest thing ever for eighty nine cents. I mean, if I was gonna price this, I'd probably price it at like one ninety nine, two fifty. I think that's pretty pretty good for what it is. Um, I think if if it was three ninety nine for like the ta the the quesadilla or the burrito as well as like a softer crunchy taco or something like that, that probably justify it a bit more. But as it is, I think it's a little overpriced. Doesn't mean it's not good. It's just like price to goodness ratio is not quite there. But so I've got to hand the belt for stepping up the quality. It's definitely a step above your average Taco Bell. So, agreed. Agreed. That's it for now. Thank you for watching the first episode of Fast Food Connoisseurs. I'm Tom. I'm Tim. See you next time.